Today, what we're going to be looking at is Deep Sight, which is combining the power of Deep Seek version three with kind of like a free AI coder where you can basically give the AI any task and then it will just go off and do what you want to do, right? So let me show you an example of this and exactly how it works. So if we go inside the Ask AI anything, and this is available at Hugging Face Spaces Deep Sight, right? So it's basically like using Deep Seek's API and then combining it with the power of a a canvas where you can code anything you want. So for example, if we say, okay, create an SEO cost calculator, beautiful, sleek and modern. All right. We'll wait for that to load. There we go. All right. And you can see the outputs right here. It does take a while to load that actually. That was longer than I expected. I'm just going to mute this as well. Cause it creates a little notification sound once it's done. And then you get this notice saying AI responded successfully. This is using deep sight, right? So you can see here, you've got the HTML on the left hand side, and then you've got the preview on the right hand side. It's a little bit like, for example, Bolt. Now, if we go over to Bolt.new, which is a paid tool, right? And bear in mind, Deep Sight is free. We'll go over to Bolt.new and we're going to say, okay, create. We'll use exactly the same prompt if we can find it. I can't find it, but anyway. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to use exactly the same prompt here. Wait for that to load. And we'll see what the outputs are versus bolt.new. So bolt.new is a paid AI coder. And then we've got the response from deep Sight, which actually looks really cool, right? You can see here, let's test this out as well and see if it works. Yes, yeah, so it works perfectly. It's nicely designed. You can also take the code over here and you could go into like deep seek directly and just build it out more if you wanted to. So you can just go into deep seek and start. You could say, okay, improve this code. So it looks more. Beautiful. We could run that in the background, but if we compare the outputs of what we've got on bolt.new versus the outputs we've got from deep Sight, I would genuinely say deep Sight is better, right? But the difference is deep Sight is free. Whereas bolt.new is paid, right? We can also get the code and improve it if we want to, but if we go over to the comparison side by side here, all right, so we're building out this application with bolt.new and then we've got the deep site version over here which one would you say looks more better right which one has a nicer ui of course it's going to be the one from deep site right nicer color gradients more complicated and complex seo calculator that's more useful estimated costs work nicely if we click on that and then we click get started nothing happens mate look at that nothing happens here so it doesn't really show you what happens you do get the quote, but it's not very sophisticated. Whereas you've got the free tool from Hugging Face right here using DeepSeek version three, and it looks 10 times nicer, right? It's got some nice icons at the bottom as well, nice content. You can refresh a preview if you want to, or you can go back to the editor and change it how you want to as well. But you can basically go from idea to the tool in one single click, and it looks really cool. All right. And it's a lot faster than DeepSeek. So if you use DeepSeek directly in the chat, Look how long that's taking. That's taking a lot longer. Whereas, for example, if we go back to deep site over here, this was generated way quicker. It created a better output than bulk.new. It's completely free to use. And all you need to do is just put your idea in here, right? And it's so easy now for anyone interested in AI, but who can't code to create whatever app or game or tool or whatever they want. I'm not saying it's going to be hundred percent perfect every time. I'm actually amazed how well that went. You can also deploy this to a space. So if we click on deploy to space, we can deploy this with Hugging Face. We sign in right here. We don't need to even sign into Hugging Face to, to start messing around with it and start using it. The other thing is you could take the code like, so we can grab that HTML code and then we could go over to something like Visual Studio Code and start editing it directly in here using the DeepSeek version three API, which is free as well. Or we could use Google Gemini, which is an even better coder, but would help us improve the UI and the front end and everything else. Just going to close up Visual Studio Code right there. So pretty powerful stuff. Let's test something else out now. So I'm going to say, okay, create a self playing snake game. Always a good test. And you might be waiting for it to load and wondering is anything happening, etc. So just wait for the HTML to code out first. And then you can see it being built in real time. Like you can see right here. So you have to wait for the AI to finish working. Then it's building out step by step. All right. And it's got like some nice settings here. You get a score, etc., and you can build out your own games. Let's see if this actually works first time round. We'll test that in a second. 
in the meantime, what we can do is we can take that prompt and just see what we get back from bolt.new. Just to compare them side by side. And you might be saying, okay, why would you use deep site instead of using say deep sea directly deep site number one, I think it's programmed so that it's much easier as a UI to see the HTML and the canvas and see it being built out in real time. Number two, it seems to be a lot faster than deep sea can deep seek often fails, especially when people are using the server so much. And number three, this is like custom made. Plus you can deploy it using Hugged space, right? So it's way easier to get this done. If we have a look inside bolt.new, we'll wait for this to load. Bolt.new actually works, but you can see it's way less complex, right? So inside DeepSeek, for example, the UI is nicer. It's got different settings, so we can switch between the settings. We've got a little score as well there, and it actually works. Whereas if we go inside Bolt.new, you just get something super basic, right? The UI is not as nice. You don't get as many customizations. It doesn't look as nice, right? So the UI from DeepSight is way, way better. And then you can play again. You can switch between these two different things. So we've got a hammer, Tony and Cycle which I've never heard of. We can also speed this up, but inside bolt.new, we can't speed it up. There are no settings. We can't really do much with it, right? So if you want to build a game or an app or a tool or a website in one take, this might be one of the easiest ways to do it. And it's completely free, right? Let's try another one now. We can also enhance the prompt with AI as well, but let's test this out. So I'm going to say, okay, create a website for an SEO agency. We'll hit until, and we've reached the limit. So I'm just going to sign in the background here. Let's sign in and then we'll try that again. So create an SEO agency website that seems to be working. All right. So if you struggle on the limits, just sign in, you can have a free account and then wait for it to do its magic. That's looking pretty nice as well. Let's test this out on bolt.new. I'm pretty sure there must be some really nice custom prompts behind the scenes with deep because these outputs are like better than most no code tools I've seen. So. I'm going to test the same thing out here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go over to Gemini, which is Google's latest API. And we're going to select the paid version. So we're going to select 2.0 flash and we'll allow canvas, which allows us to preview it. And we'll do exactly the same thing and see which one produces the best results. Is it a website with DeepSight? Is it a website with Gemini? Bear in mind, DeepSight is free. Bold on news paid. Gemini is paid. All right. So wait for that to load. But this is looking really nice so far. It's created like a nice little logo for us, name for the business, etc. Really easy and simple to use. We've got to wait for it to load. This looks a lot more generic with that kind of like stock image that you see everywhere. We'll test this in a sec, so we'll see what it's like. And then Gemini, not bad at all. We'll compare that side by side as well. So let's grab that and we'll deploy it to a subspace and see what we get back. Subdomain, sorry, not subspace. All right. Now, one thing to note here is like deep site definitely takes a longer time, but if you get better outputs, it's worth it, right? So let's see what we get back in a sec. We can't scroll down the page just yet. So it's still coding out. It's definitely slower than bolt.new and it's slower than Gemini 2. I also like the fact that it's just created like in one single HTML file, right? Typically, I find if we just code something in one single HTML file, it doesn't break as often. And also it's just a lot simpler to go back and forth. Whereas for example, if bolt.new has loads of different like files inside one big folder, then it has to edit each of them. You have to go back and forth a lot more when you're making changes, etc. But we'll see what we get back here. Gemini's page is looking rather basic, to be honest. It's not bad, but it's not great. Bolt.new, super basic as well. This seems to be coding out the footer now as well. So let's see what we get back in a sec. Whilst we're doing that, actually, what I'll do is I'll go over to DeepSeek as well directly, because some people will be watching this and going, why don't you use DeepSeek directly? So let's test this out. Plug that in right here. Yeah, the, here's the thing, right? You do exactly the same thing inside DeepSeek.com and it's free to use, but look, it just writes the structure, writes the headers, etc. but it's not actually coding out HTML. Now you could say to it, okay, code the HTML page and whatever, but why would you do that when you can use DeepSight and it's good to go, right? And if we pull these up side by side, this is crazy, actually pretty crazy stuff. So if we pull this up side by side, this is way better than what we got back from bolt.new and Gemini. It took a lot longer, but it's better as well from DeepSeek as well. So DeepSeek's pretty trash. That's a trashy response. So we're going to close DeepSeek. That failed completely. Let's open up the Gemini and we'll compare these side by side. All right, so, so which one looks better? The result from Gemini or the result from DeepSight? DeepSight, for sure. Much more in depth, more comprehensive, better design, 
more information. It's easy, even included like a nice little graphic right here for case studies. The copyright is nicer, just looks 10 times nicer, right? Whereas this is super basic. This is like a 2024 website. This is a 25 one, right? And then let's plug in now the bolt.new example. So this is bolt.new, which is a pay tool again versus deep site. Which one looks better, right? I think this looks neater and cleaner. Nice little color gradient here. Even like the headline, right? Grow your business with proven SEO versus drive growth through SEO excellence. It's just not as interesting, right? The sales copyright not as good here versus here, right? So for building apps, games, tools, etc., I would say the deep site is winning and it's free and you can get the HTML mod file. So you can just easily edit it, go back and forth and get it hosted as well, right? If we have a look at the contact us, even the contact us looks a lot better with deep site versus this. So you get the point. Deep site is way, way better. All right. Now what I'm going to do is if you want to get all my best prompts, tips, workflows, etc., for deep site, along with all my best prompts for building stuff like this, feel free to get it inside the AI profit boardroom. This community shows you how to make more money and save time with AI. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And this comes with all of my best courses on like email and content automation, social media, AI agents, web automation, and scraping, AI SEO, NA10 templates and a crash course plus all my best SAPs on AI automation. Top of that, you can jump on the weekly Q&A calls and ask us any questions you have. There's one happening tomorrow. Prices are going up today, so make sure you sign up now before you miss out. And if you have any questions in between now and the next Q&A, just post them inside the community and we'll be happy to help. You can see everyone's getting a comment on their post. And this community is super active, right? So if you always want to be learning, if you always want to be keeping up with the latest stuff, then make sure you post inside the community and check all the latest posts right here, right? You can see all these cool stuff that people are talking about and sharing along the way. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a custom tailored game plan for your website to generate more lead sales and profits, right? So if you want to make more money from Google, with SEO and AI, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session and we'll also answer any questions you have one to one and you'll learn the best link building strategies to increase and 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one.